Hello and welcome to So Happy Patchwork and Quilting Classes. I'm Rachel the Tutor and today I'm going to go through with you how to use the Janome one step buttonhole foot. So you're going to need the foot and your sewing machine. You're going to need a scrap of fabric that we can double over and of course a button. So let's get started. So this is the Janome one step buttonhole foot. Um, just in case you're wondering, that is the little bar where the foot clips onto the foot on the machine. What you need to do to start off with is pull it out. So you'll notice there's a gap there. That is the gap where you're going to put your button. So pull it out till the button fits in. Squash it up tight again. You may also have noticed that while I was moving this, this little gap here was changing as well. So if I pull it out, sometimes you have to be a little bit forceful. If I push it back in, can you see how that gap's changing? That gap is what controls the foot when it's working under the machine as to which direction the machine sews in. So you're going to put your button in, tighten it up and then you're going to put it onto your machine. To put it on your machine you're going to lift the foot, press the little button at the back, that foot drops off, pop that away in your little accessory box. Now like I said the foot goes on this way around Many of you might or might not know that if you lift the lever for the foot just a little bit more, the foot will go up a little bit higher. Then you're going to drop it down onto the foot, check that it's engaged. The next step is to pull down a little black lever that is just at the back here. That pulls down and goes in between those two bits that I pointed out earlier. You want to set your machine to the buttonhole stitch. The one I've chosen today is stitch 21. I would say to do a practice piece first. Have your fabric doubled over so you're doing at least two thicknesses of thread of fabric. Push it under the machine. The buttonhole process will stitch backwards first, so it's going to go back. It then zigzags forward, it then goes across, goes back, zigzags and then zigzags back all the way down. But you want to practice it first, just so that you can understand what happens. Um, if you do it on quite a slow speed, keep an eye on what happens with this little black lever and these two um, markers. That tells the machine when to swap over directions. It's really clever actually. So first of all, I'm just going to do um, one stitch just to bring the thread up from underneath. So bring that up. And then if you didn't have a camera in the way, you would check that that's back in place. So now I need to set the machine to the right stitch which on my machine is mode 2, stitch 21. Now I'm just going to start the machine and we can watch it go. Oops, no, I'll start it that way. So it goes back first and all the way forward. It goes across, back, does its little bar tack at the end then comes back down to the front and then it stops automatically. So now the machine has stopped its little process you want to remember to lift that little lever back up you're then going to lift your foot take your buttonhole out from under your fabric from under the foot 
and there's your first buttonhole. Now, to cut that buttonhole, you want to get your seam ripper out. And you want a pin. So, you're going to put the pin so that it goes across one end of your buttonhole. Your seam ripper you're going to pop into the other end and then you're just going to slide that up towards the pin. Hopefully the pin will stop you just continuing to make the buttonhole really. Take that pin out. Then I'm just going to get the button. So drop the foot back off. Get the button out. And now that button will perfectly fit through that hole. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, please subscribe by pressing on the red button below. If you press the little bell next to it, you'll be notified the next time I put out a video. Until then, happy quilting. Bye.